Authority of Heads of State and Government of ECOWAS are set to hold an extraordinary summit on the political peace and security situation in the West African region. At the opening ceremony, President Bola Tinubu will address member countries before the meeting will go into a closed-door session. Now, there are speculations that the meeting will deliberate on its current sanctions imposed on Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso, as all the suspended countries were invited for the summit and allocated seats. A communique will be presented at the end of the summit. TVC News uh, Foreign Affairs Correspondent, Moyo Thomas, joins me live uh, from the villa. Good to have you join us, Moyo. Well, Moyo, if you can hear me uh, very clearly, we should be expecting a positive outcome from uh, today's summit. Uh, looking at the fact that at the last summit, uh, they were able to address the Senegal crisis and uh, the president uh, decided to step down in April. But can you talk to us about what we should be expecting in today's meeting? Um, in, in this extraordinary summit that has been called, I think one thing that is standing out right now is the fact that the three countries are threatened to pull out of ECOWAS, Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger including Guinea, were invited to the summit. And that means that they might be deliberating on maybe lifting the sanctions against these countries. Uh, we recall that a few days ago, one of the founding fathers, the only surviving founding fathers at that, called a press conference to um, make the heads of state and government of ECOWAS reconsider their stand on this sanction. And this meeting might actually be doing that. That is one thing that we are expecting to see out of this meeting. But we don't know uh, if that is going to happen. And if that happens, it also means that um, uh, ECOWAS might uh, need to really consider um, how it will be seen uh, when it comes to fighting for democracy. If it shifts its stand at the moment, then how else would it be able to stand to be able to stand its ground on ensuring democracy prospers and thrives in the region? Well, it says that there are speculations uh, that the meeting will focus on sanctions imposed on Niger. Uh, Burkina Faso and uh, Mali. Can you uh, talk to us about some of the representatives of these countries that are present right now? Um, in the last meeting that was held uh, towards the end of the year 2023, these four countries that were under suspensions were not invited. But at this particular meeting, they were invited and they have their seats with their uh, countries, uh, country designation um, on the seat uh, where all the other presidents will sit. That is just right behind me. Uh, that is why the speculation is going on that uh, they might actually be lifting the sanctions at the moment. So once the heads of state come in, they, the meeting is here to start. Once they come in and we see representative from these four countries, then we might have more details to give on what happens um, afterwards. All right, we expect more uh, details on that as soon as uh, this latest come in. Well, that's uh, TVC News uh, for Correspondent Moyo Thomas live for us at the Villa. Thank you for joining us at the start.